Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're going to be covering Wanderlust, Travel Stories, and Nintendo Switch. Let's go! Thank you so much to the developers for sending me this, and sponsors. Love you guys. We do have a Zozo here, if you guys are seeing who that little head is. We are doing this live, so if I ran this out like an idiot, this is a normal thing. Right, guys? Look at little Zozo's face. Look at him. He's so beautiful. He's so little. Yeah. A child of the narrative in the oldest world, the story the wanderer tells the folks gathered around the fire after his or her return. This is what I saw in its origin. All right, guys, this is a reading game, so read it. Small green dot. In the middle of the Pacific. Six hour flight to anywhere. Serious? Here are a bar. I'm not blocking anything. Photo by Larry Portman. Imagine that you arrive on the island. Imagine that you are agreeing with the flower necklace. Imagine how impatient you are to see the famous Moai. Imagine that you live on the island. Imagine preparing for the next batch of tourists. Imagine how busy you are with people engaged in their routines. So, it was no wonder that only the ancient stone heads paid any attention to the weather. The rain came out of nowhere. A curtain of water obscuring the view of the terrace. Hi, sir. Hope all is well. What's up, Lurky Jerky? What you been up to? I watched the terrace. I looked at Mwai. Why the giant pulse sculptures that made the island famous. Those are the heads. If you're wondering. With the same dignified and different expressions, they sported for the last centuries after the stifling heat of the day, the sudden shower was a blessing. Yeah, the churches ran. Soon the bar was full. Soon the last group found shelter under an awning on the terrace. The bar was popular the place. The view was beautiful and the beer was cold, local and expensive. As always, the tourists all look the same. If you listen to their accents, you can try and guess where they came from. Especially when they were as loud and made as much disturbance as the wet group under the awning. I listened. In, a situ in situations like that, you do not wish to eavesdrop, but you hear, it looks like we'll spend some time here, said someone in English. We might as well make ourselves comfortable. I heard chairs and tables being rearranged. I must confess. I must confess I was observing them on purpose. Who were they? Who were they? That is the question that's bugging you, isn't it? It was bugging me as well. At the moment, I did mine being an anonymous observer i was interested in their story i knew mine i already knew mine they were all europeans still excited that they were on the island over 2,000 miles away from the nearest continent at first i thought it was a group of friends but no their awkward body language revealed that they'd meet for the first time so who are you all asked someone i was also curious that was the question wasn't it I don't know how about you, but I love listening to people, imagining who they are, trying to get under their skin, trying to understand. Trying to understand what makes them tick. What scares that guy? What's the lady's lady longing for? What do they regret? Most of the time I left with my musings. But sometimes, just sometimes, I get a peek behind the curtain straight into someone's soul. I always pick, pick one person. I always pick one person making them protagonist of my 
Imagined stories. When I try to focus on too many people at once, there's no real connection. It all means superficial. Like, I could see only the inside of my head. It was easy. It was easy this time. One of them got my attention instantly. Was it his eyes? Was it the eyes? Had a startling expression. She was all smiles. She came in long before the rain started, ordered her beer and some snacks, smiling the whole time and quickly found herself at table. She sat down and started tapping on her phone, looking around cur curiously from time to time. I knew the type. Self-important. She was one of the young people who thought they'd already seen it all, always bragging about their experiences, explaining the world to everyone within earshot. Then the others came. Hago Droya. No. Later that evening, for a bunch of strangers, they got along well. The rain stopped, giving way to a beautiful sunset, and they didn't even notice. Drops of water shining on the palm trees, small lizards catching the last rays of the sun. The dormant volcano in the distance, all that was lost on them. They talked over their beers, joking, laughing, getting to know each other. I listened. Look at us, five and is quite a crowd. And on Rapa Nui, uh, no less, the young woman said, grinning, I'm so curious about what brought you here. I'm Martine. Martine, by the way. I was curious what made them tick and what would happen between them. Would they remain strangers? Would they become friends? Would drama ensue? Introductions followed. The older lady from Portugal was called Adelia. The father and daughter came from UK. He was called Henry and her name was Henrietta. Martine was from Germany. And the guy from Poland was called Tomek. I listened to Martine. I listened to them more and more curious if I'd chosen the right person. I just wanted to escape as far away as I could. And whom I've met people from Europe, Martine laughed. The funny thing is, it happens to me all the time. So she traveled a lot. She was young and yet seemed to have traveled a lot. I started imagining all the awkward and funny situations that she must have been through. Time would tell what kind of person she really was. They talked about how small Rafa Nui seemed from the plane and how big it was when you walked compared, compared notes on the accommodations. All stayed in Haga, Haga Roa and it was the only town on the island and planned their sightings. But who are you all? Martine asked. But who are you all? Martine asked a few beers later. What are your stories? Oh, I love a good story. But I'm not sure if we've got enough time for everyone to tell one. One of the others answered, one night won't be enough. Well, are any of you leaving tomorrow? I know I'm not, Martine said. Let's spend the next few days together, see the island. I'm sure we could find a guide here and tell each other stories. They agreed. They all agreed. Let's pick a theme, Martine said and made a dramatic, dramatic pause. I was all years. I was all years and smiled when she asked, what was the journey that changed you most? I wondered why they assumed that you needed a journey to change. Awesome! Wow, five hours. Isn't that awesome? If you guys enjoyed that and you guys got intrigued, definitely go pick this one up on Nintendo Switch when you can. I think it's a totally awesome game. Two thumbs way up. Awesome! If you guys are on the stream, stay tuned. We got more in store. If you're not, I'd love to meet you. See ya!